The workers are going up there, which is perfectly fine by me. They can live in the little closet up there. Uh, the cooks are in here doing their thing. The teacher's currently in the faculty room, but I assume... Because I think the students show up... Yeah, so the students are showing up at the moment. They're going to go to the cafeteria because they have nowhere else to go. But I believe at 8 o'clock, class will start. So they're going to... Yeah, they're going to go to class. The teacher's going to teach them. But we are making, like, no money at all. Which isn't ideal. Yeah, we're spending a lot per day because electricity and water and... Yeah, so basically we kind of need more students. I do feel like we could get away with it as well. If we have a look at our to-do list, we have got sophomore students. So let's apply for that grant. And let's maybe say that we can build another classroom. So technically a blue wall there, then we go eight, like this. Then we want to make that a blue wall as well. And then brick wall, just there. Uh, then technically speaking, this needs to be a blue wall. This needs to be demolished. And then we need a brick wall coming up here. So that should be fine. Uh, we can go to doors, we can go to regular door, and we can put it there. And then in terms of flooring and all that stuff, it's going to be exactly the same. We are going to do wooden floors there. We are going to do, I think it was blue. I think when it was teal, wasn't it? Teal carpets inside the classroom. And uh, really, we can just go from there. So if we go to objects, we can go to classroom and say, uh, get me some student chairs in here. Just like so. I don't want that one against the wall. That one against the wall, though, does give us an extra couple of students. But I don't want it uh, because I want a chalkboard up front. I yeah, I do want it that way. Table there and regular chair there. That's a student chair. Regular chair. I said regular chair uh, right there. So that should be fine. Obviously a bit expensive, but relatively fine. Uh, let's just demolish that wall, please. There we go. So that's been done. Excellent. Then can we cancel this? Because I don't want to cancel... I don't want to delete the floor, basically. Uh, we can do a bit of blue wall there. And then we have... Oh, the students might get sick from a dirty school. Well, we have janitors who really should be doing their job. They're just not doing it very well. Uh, they're back in class. That's fine. Let's go to zones and let's say that we want to get a classroom here. We want a sophomore classroom. So that one right there. We do need a teacher for it, though. So let's see what we can do here. You are 300 per day. You're pretty good, though. Maybe a bit risky. 250. Not very good at PE. You're kind of average across the board. 225. Sure, we'll hire you. Uh, there we go. And the grant's done as well. Excellent. Absolutely excellent. Uh, we do, however, need to go into routing. We need to janitor and we need to edit this one. Because I want it to go that way. I want them to go up and down that hallway properly. And uh, that's about it. So you guys can do that kind of thing going up and down the hallway. And I guess at this point, we need to get some sophomore students. So that's going to be 20 of those, I think. I don't think we need to transfer students. I don't know. If, I don't know how that works necessarily, but I guess we'll find out. Anyway, we're currently in the fifth period of the day. I think these guys go home at three o'clock. So... We'll see what happens. Do they go home at 3 or is it a bit later than 3? I imagine it's 3, right? Yeah, 3 comes along. 6th period begins. Maybe they don't. Why are some of you upset? Like, can I see? So your health is there. Your motivation is quite low. You're not having fun. And your bladder is pretty bad as well. We are going to need... We are going to need some bathrooms. We probably should get some bathrooms. So we'll see what we can do there. Basically, male bathroom, female bathroom. I assume they go home at four then. I can really only assume they go home at four. So let's find out. It is, yeah, dismissal. So you guys are going into there. And... Slowly going home, maybe? Do you go home at five? What's going on? Does everybody go home at five? I have no idea. 
Yeah, so everybody's leaving and going home at five. That's fine. Uh, I assume tomorrow we're going to bring in the new students. And then I guess we go from there. I re I'm just assuming, like, I really, I really have no idea. I haven't actually, like, done the management side of this game before. Uh, and it seems a lot of the staff are staying a bit later. Including the janitors who are, you know, going up and down there, making sure everything's nice and clean. Uh, that's fine. I think we'll get the bathrooms tomorrow, which is not, not a big deal. Do you guys go home at seven then? Yeah, so you got, no, you're still cleaning a little bit. You're putting some stuff in the trash. That's fine. And then you were heading off there. So I assume, yeah, 735, it ticks over. Do we, by chance, have a decent number of students coming in today? They arrive tomorrow. Really? I feel like we probably don't want the freshmen coming in, do we? Because we technically already have them. I think the transfer thing is basically... I don't know how that works, actually. I, I actually have no idea how that works. These guys are freshmen. There's no sophomores in here. I, I really don't know. We are losing money currently, but let's just go ahead and get these toilets done. Uh, so blueprints here. Object wall. I think this will be eight, right? Yeah. Okay. Um... I kind of want some decently sized bathrooms. So I want a wall there. And I want a wall there. And then I think we do... I think we just build these. Let's just let's just get them built. Uh, so regular brick walls on the outside. With the blue walls on the inside. With a couple of doors. Which are going to go... I think there and there. The floors in there are going to be the bathroom tiles, which is kind of to be expected. I don't think that's uh, particularly surprising anybody. Obviously, just a little pricey. Uh, but there we go. We're going to get that all in there. Bathroom tiles beneath the walls as well, or beneath the doors as well, with the blue walls here, please. I really want the right walls on this. I want the, I want the interior walls to be blue. That's, that's my requirement here. Okay, so go to zones. Let's go to toilet. Let's say female there. Let's say male there. Sink and toilet cubicle is really all we need on that. So toilet, uh, toilet cubicle can go there and just the whole way along that wall. The male toilet's going to be exactly the same, except right at the end, we're going to do a couple of uh, urinals instead of the cubicles. Then the sinks are just going to go along that wall there. Kind of expensive building bathrooms, it turns out. Kind of very expensive building those. Not really sure how to feel about that, because that's a little silly, is what that is. But okay, that's fine. At least the male toilet's now up and running. Uh, the female ones apparently taking a little bit longer. I don't know what these... What do you guys do? Why are you all out there being sick? Were you... Are you... What are you... What happened there? Were you out there being sick? Oh, no. They were out there going to the bathroom and the... T oh, yeah. They're using the bushes as the bathroom. Well, that's awkward. Why are my... Oh, my workers are currently eating. Fair enough. I mean, that's... That's... Yeah. That's fair enough. Uh, so the toilets are now up and running. I'm pretty sure there is a, I think there's a grant for, is there not a, is there not a grant for building, I could swear there was a grant for building uh, trash cans, unless I've already got it, 300 students, 50 students, we don't actually have 50 students and we are losing a lot of money here. That's a bit of a worry. We can we can definitely look into that. Maybe maybe do something about it. Build a common area. We are going to need that. I think that's going to have to be our next thing. Uh, but we also need to get more students in here. Like where where's all our money going? So a lot of it is staff wages. A lot of it is water, which kind of has me thinking that we probably don't need as many sinks as I built there. Uh, so maybe just, let me just like dismantle, 
Can I dismantle the sink? I really don't know. I'm going to dismantle a few of them, though. And I think I'm going to dismantle one of the... One of the toilets as well. Like, is that is that a thing we can do? Toilet cubicle. Uh, let me let me actually go into here and say, yeah, you're gonna dismantle the sink. That's fine. Dismantle that cubicle. Dismantle that one as well. Just to uh, maybe save on some of the water expenses. I think that could do us a few favors, just to bring the expenses down a little bit. I didn't realize it was gonna be that rough. So that's helped a little bit. Let's maybe get rid of that cubicle as well. Just to bring those down a little bit further. We have 20 new students arriving tomorrow, though, which is exciting. Uh, the workers, I think, have gone home, which is perfectly fine. I am hopeful that bringing these new students in is... Are you guys... Are you guys either cleaning or what are you doing? I'm not really sure what this is. I think you guys are my janitors, but I'm, I'm really not sure what you're doing. Really not sure at all. Uh, but I'm excited. I am excited because I think we're going to get a bunch of money tomorrow. Because we are going to be bringing some new students in, I do believe. I think the new students will get me some, uh, some good money. Hopefully. I, I really do hope so. Uh, so here they can. Yep, 20 new students have arrived. They are going to be the sophomores, which is great. We do need we need a homeroom, though. We really need a homeroom. So not really sure what to do with that, because the way to balance that is going to be to bring more students in. And I'm also thinking you guys probably need you probably need better teachers, right? Because you're like higher level students. If I have a look at this, like you guys bring me individually 75 a day 75 oh no you're actually all the same 75 a day interesting wait tuition income plus 450 plus 350 yeah so that's interesting that's very interesting so i have three days before more students are going to arrive that's fine I, I kind of feel like I would have the money to get a homeroom here. I do kind of feel like we can do this. Let me go to let me go to blueprints and see what we can do here. I think a homeroom here could be a good idea. So let's say, well, let's do classrooms first. So we want to do nine, then across and down. Then, or do we want to do that? Do we maybe want to start putting classrooms over here as well? Well, no, we got the workers quarters there. We could change that up a little bit, you know, maybe have a corridor there for the workers, put the door there instead. Go nine there and well, this is actually going to be a little bit awkward. Um, so that's the size of a classroom right there. If we were to get rid of, say, that bit, we can actually continue and maybe that bit as well. Uh, we can actually continue the corridor this way. One, two, three. So something like that. Uh, and then I think another classroom here could be kind of interesting. So we basically have four, we have five classrooms. We don't need five classrooms, but we can get five classrooms. Um, and I think we do bring the corridor up like this. And I think we do this as well. I think this is basically our common room here. Not very big, but we can get another one technically. So that's not actually too much of a big deal. So that right there becomes a corridor. It sort of slinks around like that a little bit. So we would want to do a door there, there, and there with this as our common room. So that's, that's a lot of work actually. That is a lot of work to do, but I, I think we can do it. Let me just go ahead and say that we want to move this staff door to that spot. And we want to demolish that one. And then we want to do blue walls. I, I kind of feel like we should get on with the, the common room, to be honest. Uh, let's do a brick thing there with a gray 
Let's do a brine carpet in here, actually. We'll do that kind of thing. I think that looks all right. Uh, let's see, though. So common room. That's that's kind of where we're at here. So I want to go to demolish. I want to deconstruct this. And I want to say blue and blue and blue. Then we'll do our brick walls all around this. As we do. I would like to pause, but the pause button doesn't seem to be working all the time. I hit spacebar, it doesn't really do anything. I'm fairly sure that is the pause button, but I, I can't be sure 100%. Uh, so regular door there and there. This is going to be another classroom. Then we have the money to do this, I think. Uh, let's bring some floors in there. Let's have some carpet in here. I think we're going to go for... Uh, yellow carpet for the common room. It's going to be disgusting to look at, but that's perfectly fine. That is perfectly fine by me. I'm not too stressed about a disgusting, uh, disgusting carpet color there, so I don't think it's too much to worry about. You guys are going to put the wood floor in as well. We are still making 604 per day, so that's not actually too bad. Then teal carpet for the classroom. That should be fine. Those guys have gone for dinner. The janitors are doing a particularly bad job. You're a freshman. Where are my janitors? What are you doing? Why does it feel like you guys aren't doing anything? Janitor routing. Uh, yeah, you guys are apparently trying to clean up some, some mess out there by the looks of it. It doesn't seem like it's going well for you. Can I maybe like, can I dismantle those? No. Build, demolish. Demolish those for me. And see if that changes anything. Because if it doesn't, then we have a serious problem with the janitors and apparently have a bit of a bug with the janitors, which I'm a little concerned about. I'm going to be honest. I'm, I'm a little concerned that my janitors... Oh, no, they did... You did move for a second there, buddy. Uh, but my students are going to get super, super sick if uh, if this doesn't all get cleaned up. Unless the dumpster's full. I wonder if that's what the problem is. That actually does feel like a solid possibility. I do feel like the dumpsters might be full. So let's get a few more of those. And just line them up like this. And we'll see what happens. Maybe the dumpsters are the problem. But I, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. Yeah, it doesn't look like getting rid of those bushes actually did anything at all. Which I'm not particularly happy about. Yeah, the janitors seem to really be struggling there. So my students are possibly going to get very, very sick. Although this guy seems to know what he's doing, so we'll take his word for it and trust that he actually is going to do some cleaning. Anyway, we need another classroom. We do also need to build a common area so let's let's do the common area first so zones uh common area let's also go into blueprint for a second and just erase uh that and that so this needs a table and chairs that's perfectly fine uh table there and there and then we'll do there there and there and there there and there so that's quite a bit of money chairs aren't too expensive though which is nice so we'll just get a bunch of these into all of these spaces so that all of our students can at least have an opportunity to go to the common area and then from that i think they can walk over and sort of between the chairs so i think that's fine that'll get us some money for that uh, that grant I'm really concerned about my janitors, though. They seem to be having a bit of a crisis there. Not really sure what to do about it. I could technically hire more, but I, I don't know if that's a good idea. Uh, I really, really don't. I'm also thinking that we could maybe look at bringing in some junior students. We do need to build a junior classroom and assign a teacher to it. So let's maybe go to zones, go to class, go to junior. And say that's going to go there. Chalkboard, chairs, table, chair. No problem. Uh, classroom. Let's just pause while I do this so it doesn't switch to the next day too quickly. 
Uh, so all of the chairs going in here should be fine. That'll get us a bunch of those students. Of course, we need the office table in the corner with the chair behind it. And I do believe we want to go to here and say we want 20 jun uh, junior students. There we go. 7,000 up front for that as well. Uh, so that'll be beautiful. Once the workers get back, we can hopefully get that sorted. And hopefully we can get the janitors to uh, maybe focus on that a little bit. Let's maybe change their routing as well so that there's maybe... One last, uh, one last janitor on that, and one more janitor on that. And we'll maybe see them do something there, I, I really have no idea. It'd be nice. It would be really nice to see them do something, but it really looks like they are just stuck on the, uh, the urine down here. I'm wondering if I reload my save, will that fix anything? I, I kind of have my doubts. I'm going to be honest, I, I do kind of doubt it. Oh, no man is an island. Beautiful. Uh, let's go grab the junior students as well. And let's get a teacher that can handle those. So, teacher. We can go for a slightly better one. I think we will. So, we'll hire you for the junior students there. And we'll see how that goes. So, we have the new students actually arriving in two days' time. That'll bring with it a decent amount of money. Uh, but other than that, I am really, really concerned about the sheer amount of uh, dirt. I'm, I'm really worried about it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to reload my save and hope that that fixes my janitors. Because if it doesn't, then we have a major problem.